Come and go, and uh, you know it's it's always sad when you see a friend you know walk off the field or uh, you know something like that, or you hear about a guy you know go down like that. But one thing that we always stress is next man in, and you know we're going to do the best that we can with the guys that we have. So while it's tough when you when you see guys leaving the pre leaving the team or uh, or you know getting injured and stuff like that, at the same time. Uh, you know, you can't let it slow you down. You can't let you know one guy going down ruin what the other ten guys are trying to do. Do you, do you feel good about your depth now, six through ten? I think so. Uh, I think for us, one of the questions that we had coming into this game, especially at offensive line, was the depth. Uh, you know, with as many new starters as we had, um, you know, obviously the guys behind them had never started again. So uh, it was, I think, it's going to be very valuable for us to have gotten those guys out there in this game and gotten them some reps and really to get them on tape and see what they're able to do in a game situation. How do you feel as an offense about the way things went today based on what you know now? I think we feel all right about it. Uh, I think we feel like we left a lot of yards out there. We left some plays out there. Um, there are certainly some plays we'd like to have back, but... Uh, you know, in a first game, uh, this is this is more of a teaching tape. You know, we can go back, uh, we can look at it, we can feel good about the win, but at the same time, we have to come in tomorrow ready to make adjustments and make improvements and take it to the next level. Rick said maybe there's a little complacency after you you guys put the 14 on the board real quick. I mean, did you you, you agree with that? You sense the same thing, or uh, I think you probably sense that. Uh, you know, we we had an opportunity really to put the pedal to the metal and and you know kind of put the game away early. And I do think we got a little bit complacent, um, you know, after the first quarter essentially. But you know, you know that's the sort of thing that uh, we're going to have to be able to not do in future games. Uh, so for that to happen to happen in this game, I'd rather have it happen now than next week. Talk about the ability that Rick showed there to distribute the ball to a bunch of different guys and you know get every as many people involved as possible. Yeah, and I think that's something that we try to do is get as many people involved as possible. You know, you can't have just uh, one guy that you're looking to all the time, um, or else when he's not available, then things fall apart. So for us to be able to come out to run a couple of different formations, a couple of different plays, get the ball around to a bunch of different guys, and be successful doing that, I think was very important for the future. And then just talk about the performance you guys got from Adam Robinson there because he was able to get over 100 yards rushing, and you guys were able to get the holes for him. Yeah, it was a phenomenal effort from him. You know, he's just he was running real physical, um, and that's something that uh, I don't think a lot of people thought that he was capable of. You know, so for so for him to come out and really have a statement game where he comes out and and doesn't dance around people, doesn't run through clean holes but really takes it to the other team I think was it was impressive at the very least. You talk about it being a statement game is it nice then to see him have that and then know next week you're going to have Jewel back as well in the backfield? I think it is and uh, you know that's going to be a bonus for us just because now we know that you know Adam can run like that you know, we know that he's got that sort of mindset that determination that he's going to run some people over um, you know and I think Strangely enough, that makes you want to block even harder for him. You know, you want to get him up on those safeties, um, up on the corners in the in the secondary of the defense, uh, where you know the guys are a little smaller, and he can really run some people over and do some special things. And it's kind of the veteran of the O line here. How would you assess the play that you got from the guys lining up next to you there, with Ferentz, McMillan, uh, Zusevic? I thought it was very good. There was a lot of uh, excellent communication. Um, guys talking. We come off the sidelines, and uh, you know, and we've, we're sitting there with Coach Morgan, and we're talking, and we're getting a lot of a good dialogue back and forth. You know, it wasn't just uh, the experienced guys, myself and Riley, you know, pointing stuff out to the other guys. It was everybody contributing and really making it a unit as a whole, uh, you know, improving all at once.